No, I'm not a bearded hobbit. I'm Steve Zaragoza. Today's case is all about which is more powerful, the magic of J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter series or the Lord of the Rings series. The case you are about to see is real. The people are real. The grievances are real. The courtroom is fake, but it looks real. When geeks can no longer settle their differences amicably, there remains only one forum where justice can be served. This is Nerd Court. Here come our litigants now. Zach Koverick and Brandon Klaus make up the sketch comedy duo Donut Bros, where they write, direct, and perform. They believe these new wizards ought to show a little respect for what came first. Megan Tonges is a singer-songwriter from the YouTubes. She believes that Potter magic is not only more powerful, but it's also a lot more practical. All rise for the presiding judge of Nerd Court, the honorable and magical Malcolm Barrett. You may be seated. Let's get to judging. Bailiff Tessa, what do you got? Your Honor, today is case number nine and three quarters, the trial of wands versus rings. Which is more powerful, Harry Potter magic or Lord of the Rings magic? Hey, Bailiff, you look a little different today. Is your hair longer or something? Mm, nope. Are those Harry Potter glasses? No, prescription. Uh-huh. Wanna watch for bias there, Bailiff. So I'm writing a prescription for justice. For justice. All right, who's the pothead? That's me, Honor. Talk to me, Blondie. Okay, long ago, in the year 1991, a young wizard enrolled at a little school called Hogwarts, and him and his friends rode their broomsticks across seven novels, eight films, directly into my heart. And along the way, they invited us into a world of new, powerful, accessible magic, not the stuffy magic of old. Oh, that was... That was nice. That was tearful. You Thank nailed you. the imagery. I like that. I've been working that. on it. Thank that you. was good. That was good. Dumbledore's on you. In a time before aught else had been wrought from the oh, flame geez. imperishable, there existed Eru alone. Mm -hmm. Within his creation, Ea, the universe, lay the planet Arda, part of which would come to be known as Middle Earth. Your Honor, we're talking about magics that can unmake the world, mar reality, and destroy souls utterly. Praise the darkness, Your Honor. Did, did you say magics? Like a, like a CKS? Is yeah, that... magics. Okay, sure. We're trying to decide which is stronger, okay? Harry Potter magic or Lord of the Rings magic? So, what do you got? Magic me. Wizards in the Harry Potter series can do a lot of things. Uh, they can turn into animals. Okay. They can speak to snakes. They can predict the future. Some of them even have the power to control numbers. Sort of, sort of veered left on that, that well, last it's, power. it's not as well known, but it's still... Numerics. Yeah. All right. Your wizard accountants aren't impressing me. What do you got? Sauron could shapeshift, Melkor could hide his thoughts from all but God, and Galadriel's mirror shows past, present, and future. Wow, that was... I'll tell you this, Lord of the Rings, you guys win for most obscure names. I suck at names. I'm horrible. Anything too Anglo. Vinny knows that. Uh, I'm Brandon. Literally don't care. So you both got cool powers, okay? You with the snakes and the numbers and you with the magic mirror thing. Let's talk about who's your most powerful wizard in each world. What do you got? So a lot of people probably say Dumbledore. That's kind I of a rookie. I would say Dumbledore. No, no, don't say that. No, that's, I wouldn't that's say that. That's a rookie. That's a rookie. Uh, that's a rookie mistake, okay. I was going to say. So I would say the most powerful wizard is obviously Harry Potter. Harry Potter, obviously. Nailing it. Duh. Okay, because even as a baby, he defeated Voldemort. And as a teenager, he can apparate easily. Oh, he get to apparating. In Fellowship of the Ring, Gandalf the Grey took on all nine Nazgul at once. Your Honor, I'd like to submit Exhibit A for Azkaban, okay? At the Great Lake, Harry and his Patronus fight off hundreds of Dementors within minutes. Well, in Two Towers, Gandalf the White, having just returned from death, stronger, mind you, unarmed, what was it, Legolas, Gimli, and Aragorn at the same time? Oh, all of them? Your Honor, Exhibit B. Bailiff. It says here, how did Gandalf get his dumb ass killed in the first place? Oh, oh, snaps. She got you. She got she you. She did not get she me. She got you. I got you. She got Where you. Where was Gandalf gotten? She got you. He was, he was only, <laughs> how did he get his dumb ass killed? Uh, after smiting the flaming Balrog of Morgoth? Uh, anyone? See, I, I'm, I never got that. I mean, how did Gandalf even fall victim to that in the first place? He does the whole, you shall not pass thing, and then he just falls to his death. I mean, it's his own spell. 
He got done down by his own spell. Why don't you just add the part where, you know, you get a couple more feet of land, you know, levitate or something, damn. Plenty of people fall mountain climbing, Your Honor. That it's is not... literally not what happened. Even David Blaine would have made it out of there. That's sad. At least Harry eventually got laid, unlike Gandalf. Gandalf might not have been allowed to plow the fields in Middle Earth, but in the blessed realm of Amon, he spent an age in Nienna's secret garden. Do you use a euphemism for getting laid? Because that's like the number one. He got I've laid. Not I'm laid. He got laid. Hell, even Samwise got laid. People get laid. It's Rudy like, got booty. Yeah, Samwise got laid. Uh, Rosie Cotton. She bore him 13 kids. Is that getting laid? Can Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Who's had less sex, you or Gandalf? <laughs> I've I've had I've had some. He's had an his, immortal. He's going to eventually yeah. have more. Even if I'd had a lot of sex. You think he'd have some more if you were immortal? A little more time. It's a numbers game, Your Honor. All right, I'll allow more it. More importantly I'll than their it. lack of a sex life, let's talk about a little thing called the Deathly Hallows. Ooh. We're talking resurrection stone. Resurrect. We're talking invisibility cloak. Invisible. We're talking elder wand. Don't know the last one. With those three things, Harry Potter is basically hashtag master of death. Uh, I'm just going to bring up that Gandalf was already immortal, and he doesn't need trinkets or hashtag. Okay, order. Calm that down. Look, if she gets to combine magical children's toys, then I'm giving Gandalf uh, Narya the Ring of Fire, Ninya the Ring of Adamant, and Vilya the Ring of Air. Add the one ring to rule them all, and that would make Gandalf the Lord of the Rings. Okay, but Harry actually owns the Deathly Hallows. I thought we were talking about real magic, not hypothetical magic. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Did, did, did you say real magic? Real magic. Okay, is that like Harry Potter style okay. magic? Oh, oh, you think that's real? It's yeah. In the wheel. It's real. In the wheel. Your Honor. In the I don't... wheel. Your Honor. In the wheel. It. Listen. So cute. Anyway, if we can't decide using that, let's see who's your top villains. What do you got? It took an entire army of elves and men just to delay Sauron, a necromancer, sorcerer, and illusionist extraordinaire. Okay, with no due respect, Sauron got a little owie on his finger and exploded. Uh, Voldemort was bested by high schoolers. Sure. I mean, oh, please, the, because okay. Harry is not the Friday Night Lights, Your Honor. Order! Order! Mordor! Order! Mordor! Order! Mordor! Mordor! Enough! Enough! I'm sorry, Your Honor, but can I please just step up as an expert witness? What are you talking about? You were right. These are Harry Potter glasses. I'm a Potterhead, always. I thought only litigants could call expert witnesses. I make the rules. I'm the judge. It's a Judge Dredd reference. We got it, Your Honor. See this plaque? What does it say? Read it. It's far away. It says Judge Malcolm. So that's, you get the idea. Continue, Bailiff. I will now place my hand on this original first edition of Tolkien's The Silmarillion. Do I swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help me, Eru? She's really good at this. I do. Counselor, your witness. Uh, if you could do any spell, what spell would you do? Oh, I wanted to, what is this? Expect a Patron. Oh, oh my God, Expect a Patron. That's such that's a good one. That's the best that's spell, spell, right? Yeah. This is going well. This is going good. Okay. I like where this is going. Okay. What would your Patronus be? A sloth. Oh, a sloth. I was not going to expect her, that. I think yeah. her Patronus is yeah. a conflict of interest. I literally don't know what you're talking about. Next question. What universe do you think has more powerful magic? Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter? Ooh. This, well, is, this is relevant because it's what the case is about. I think that Harry Potter magic is more powerful. Definitely. It was a really succinct witness. Yeah. Utilized the time I, well. That's all I needed to know. I appreciate Actually, that. I already knew it. I just needed to be confirmed. I appreciate it. We both know it. Cross-examination. I have a question. Is this fair? Follow-up question. Who cares? Good question. That was a good follow-up. Thank you. Solid. What I'm asking is, does Harry owe his existence and the existence of his magic to Lord of the Rings? They are two completely separate stories, JK, okay? J.K., J.R.R. J.J. Abrams. Nailed that one. In my unbiased opinion, I think that Harry Potter magic is more powerful because it can be controlled and also it can be taught. Mm. There are schools of wizardry, not only Hogwarts, but Bo Battens and Durmstrang. Hey, there who doesn't are... like to watch kids study? I mean, let the bailiff speak. She brought a costume. By the way, you look nice in those glasses. Thank you. You're oh, welcome. Just... Quiet. I'm unbiased. Harry Potter magic is more powerful because a little boy defeated the most powerful all right, wizard all right, of all time. All right, all right, that's long enough. He's Clearly you've been doing the research. The Think I've heard enough. I don't need a sorting hat 
to decide the destiny of this case. So. Expelliarmus. Expel Expelliarmus. It's not working. Did, did, you, did you try and use magic? I just. I tried to knock well, the gavel I, out of my hand with some little magic. I'm having an off day. Not I'll wheel. Oh, not wheel. Your Honor, you have I, have one, I have one final point Go to make. Go for it. Okay. Tolkien verse magic fades out after time. That's why the elves have to leave at the end of The Lord of the Rings. In Potterverse, magic lasts forever. Forever. I think I've made my decision. You shall not pass. Judgment in her favor. You want to go with that? That's what we're doing? Surprised the floor didn't fall down about three feet behind you. That's okay, I've made my decision. Although Lord of the Rings magic is older, and more established, Harry Potter magic is forever. Judgment in favor of the Potterverse. Way to go, Pothead. Tolkien once said, not all those who wander are lost. Speaking of losers, here they are now. Guys, what happened in there? The judge didn't understand the subtleties of Tolkien magic. He didn't understand the complexities of the case we built. I didn't get a chance to mention Tom Bombadil. I didn't get a chance to Okay, uh, anything from you? Let's just see what they think of our Lord of the Rings magic when they see what our preciouses can do. Okay, you guys both have the one ring? Yeah. Yeah. Precious. All right, I still see you, okay? Precious. Guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, comment down below, and we'll see you guys next week on Nerd Corp. You guys wanna watch a Blu-ray or? Precious. Got, got Desolation of Smaug, I just got it. Extended edition, bro. E.E. Bolganim. Okay, you creep me out. <laughs> <laughs>